Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins. She was the one who gave us this translation. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? So for seven young, long years, I have carried this secret that has been haunting each and every waking moment and it touches me in my sleep. And when I go to bed, sometimes I even cry that this other woman who told me that I have to take some salt, then I place it in my hair, at least I can get a good night's sleep. So the reason as to why I am being tormented in my sleep, it is because of some of the things that I saw. I came here to South Africa and I used to work as a maid for this other wealthy family here in South Africa. They lived in a grand house and from the outside, everything seemed to be perfect. But behind those walls, there were things that no one should have ever seen. Not me. Things that have cursed my life in ways that I never imagined. When I first started working for the family, they were kind to me. They paid me really well and treated me with respect. But there was one rule that was never meant to be broken. I was never allowed to go into their bedroom. From the very first day that my cousin's sister went with me, because my cousin's sister at that time, before she had passed away, she was working for this other Indian couple that was staying right next to the place where I ended up working. She was the one who, who was told by the family that they were looking for someone, a maid, specifically from Zim. Or Mozambique. So she went with me and I met with my new bosses. Then after my cousin sister had left, going back to her workplace. Then as the madam was busy giving me a tour of her house and all the tools that I was supposed to use, that was when we reached her bedroom and then she told me that as for her bedroom, I was never allowed to go into their bedroom. They told me that it was for privacy and I respected their wishes. But there was something strange about that room, something that always made my skin to crawl every time that I would walk past it. Like these people, what they will do is that early in the morning, maybe they would leave with the kids. So I was, I will be left alone in that house. And each and every time when I will be busy mopping the hallway, it always felt like there was someone who was always watching me. And when I would walk past through their bedroom, then I would feel like the hairs on my back standing up. The door was always locked and the air around it, it was just demonic, like there was someone, something that was watching me. One day, curiosity got the better of me. The family was out. And as always, I was alone in the house. As I was cleaning the hallway, I noticed that the door to the bedroom, it was open, but not like really open, just a little bit. So this has never happened before. It was always closed. And I knew that I was not supposed to do it. But you know that when you are poor, you just keep on thinking that maybe these people, they have millions and millions of rents in their bedroom. So I don't want to lie to you at that time, the first thought that came to my mind was if these people if with the way that they are rich maybe they have maybe a couple of millions in their house how about if i just take just a little bit just a little bit then i can start a small business that is what i was thinking about and i knew that i was never supposed to do it but something kept on pulling me towards it an edge that i could not even resist i pushed the door open and then i stepped inside the moment that i stepped inside what I saw in that room, it is the thing that gives me sleepless nights, that haunts me to this very day. There in the corner, there was a coffin, a dark polished wood coffin, just sitting there as if it belonged there. And that was not the worst part of it. On the bed, I saw my boss. My boss was sleeping, having sexual intercourse with a creature which I don't think is even supposed to exist in this world. This creature, even though it was a snake, but its head, it had the head of a human, a very beautiful woman. The face was twisted, really demonic, beautiful and scary at the same time, with eyes that glowed with an unnatural light. My boss seemed to be in a trance, whispering words of love to the creature. And as I stood there frozen in terror, the creature turned its head and looked directly at me. 
The moment that our eyes met, I felt a sharp pain in my stomach. All along when I had started working for this couple, me and my husband, we had been trying strange enough for a very long time because me and my husband, we had met almost two years earlier on. I was in Zim and he was in South Africa. We met on Facebook. He then sent some money so that I can come to South Africa. That was the reason as to why I had told myself that it was far much better for me to try to get a job because he was now mistreating me saying that I am using some family planning method. That is why I was not falling pregnant. So my mom then said, how about you try to get a job? This man, it seems as if he only wanted to impregnate you. So at that time, I, I had just realized that I was pregnant. I felt that sharp pain in my stomach and I collapsed to the floor. I don't know how long I lay there. But when I woke up, I was in, in the hospital. The doctors told me that I had suffered from a miscarriage. I cried, Brother Nashi. I cried so much. There was so much silence in that hospital ward where I was with the way that I was crying in pain. I, had, I was pregnant after a very long time. And the moment that I lost the child, and that was when I realized that even my husband, he was going to be very sad. After that day, everything changed. I left that job immediately, unable to bear the thought of going back to that house. But the nightmare I thought was going to end there. But the nightmares, they kept on haunting me. For the next seven years, I tried to move on with my life, tried to start a family, but I can't even conceive. Every time that I have thought of falling pregnant, when I thought that my, I might be pregnant, something always goes wrong. I will just lose the baby before it even have a chance. I can't even fall pregnant for more than three months. Where still, my dreams are always invited by that creature, that same demonic creature that I saw, the snake with a woman's head, it always comes to me night after night. I am always having these dreams of my former boss and that snake with a human head. In these dreams, I am always with them like we are part of some twisted family. I wake up each and every time drenched in sweat, feeling violated as if this snake, it comes and it sleeps with me. I have tried to find peace. I have tried to different. I have tried to go to different prophets. Tried to be prayed for, but that image of that room of the coffin of the creature that took my child, it is like it is there with me at all the times. I am cursed, brother Nashi. Whatever dark power that my former boss was involved in, it is what is affecting me right now. There was even one prophet who told me that my former boss is using my womb right now because of some of the things that I see in my dreams. There are so many times when I am having these strange weird dreams, I'll be giving birth like to hundreds and hundreds of babies, one after the other. Little babies will be popping out of my private parts and my boss you will be waiting each and every time when I give birth. Th then my former boss will be like, ah, we have another baby. It is a baby girl. Ah, we have another baby. This is a baby boy. So I keep on giving birth to all of these demonic babies in my dreams. And seven years down the line, after this horrific thing happened to me, I am still trying to conceive and I am getting older because I had told myself that at least I should have three kids. And when I came from my first marriage, I only had one child. So I only have one child even up until this day and I am getting older. So this is my own story. I am tired. I am tired. I don't know how your listeners are going to assist me. I have tried to go to different prophets. Some of them even ended up wanting to sleep with me, saying that because they are holy, they are holy men of God which means that even their spams that they might leave in me, the sperm will be holy such that my boss won't be able to touch the baby that will be growing inside of me. So I just feel and I think that it is just very wrong for me to sleep with the prophets. This is my story, Brother Nashi. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister. That was the translation of the message that she sent to me. Strange things indeed do happen in this world.